Welcome to the Waffle Flower channel. Hi everyone, Katie Gearing here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I used a chibi light kit to add an interactive light up element to my card project. The focus of this video is going to be on the mechanics of the chibi light kit. So I started by stamping and watercoloring my front panel. So you can see here that the sentiments and images were stamped with Versamark ink and then I heat embossed them using silver embossing powder. The It's Your Birthday image comes from the new Eat Cake stamp set which was released for Waffle Flower's third birthday and then the small cake image that I added just above the it's your birthday comes from the big day stamp set it's right there um, and I included that because I'm going to be using that cake image and those candles to be kind of the anchor for my light up element. I went ahead and trimmed down my watercolor panel just by a quarter inch on all sides. And now I am going to create some holes where the flames of the candles would be. And there's a couple of different ways that you could do this. I did think about using a 16th inch hole punch that you would maybe use for um, creating holes for brads on your projects. But I was a little concerned that I wasn't going to be able to get it lined up just correctly. So in the end, I pulled out um, um, a piercing tool and a foam mat and I am pressing down through the flame image to create a series of holes that my light then is going to shine through. So you can see there on the back that um, I pierced the five holes and just to make sure that the holes are large enough to allow as much light as possible to pass through, I'm going over the holes that I initially pierced with the tool again and I'm not doing it on the mat this time and instead I'm just kind of pushing the piercer through and twisting it to just make that hole a little bit larger um, because the tool's tapered at the end so um, at the top of the tool it's a little bit wider so you'll get a slightly larger hole. Now I need to mark where I want my light to be on my note card base. So I've just taken a pencil and I am marking through the holes that I created with the piercing tool. And then I'm also marking where the edges of the card is going to be and also where I want my battery cell to be. And I'm going to have my battery cell live under that heart image. Um, and I'll include a note inside the card that says press the heart for a special surprise. So now let's take a look at what you receive when you get a chibi kit. Um, so the batteries that you see there are actually some replacements that I bought off of Amazon. These are three vo volt coin batteries. Um, you're also going to get some copper tape and then you're going to get a series of these little um, triangular LED lights. Um, my kit included white as well as red and yellow and blue, um, a few binder clips that you can use to hold things in place as you're working, and um, it also comes with an instructional booklet as well. Okay, so it's circuit building time. The first thing I need to do is I need to build a house for my battery. So my battery is going to live in this little cardstock um, house and it's just a piece of thinner cardstock that I have folded in half and this is going to be kind of what my battery is going to sit in and once I'm finished I'm going to kind of build some foam around this little um, piece of cardstock so that my battery isn't going to fall out. Now I'm ready to map out my circuit and to keep my brain straight around this I've gone ahead and marked where my positive line is going to be as well as my negative line and I'm just going to use a kind of ruler straight edge tool to mark where I'm going to run my copper tape um, to create my circuit. So I am drawing in the positive circuit right now and then there is going to be a break in the copper tape where I'm going to put my chibi light element and then the negative circuit will kind of loop back around and then go back towards the battery house and so I'm just kind of finishing drawing that in 
and um, then I will be ready to lay down the copper tape. One thing that I wanted to mention here is that the positive and negative lines really aren't going to want to touch except for through the battery. So you notice I've kind of had to jog up a little bit in my cardstock house um, to make sure that they're not going to cross. So now I am getting out the copper tape and the copper tape is adhesive on one side. Um, it comes with a liner backing and I'm going to start by laying my positive circuit line here. So I'm going to peel off the back of the tape and then I'm going to start in the battery house and start laying that down. Now, the one thing that's really important is with the exception of the break that you're going to have for the light itself, you don't want to tear or rip or have any breaks in your circuit. So what that means is you kind of have to get creative with your folding around any corners that you're going to have. Um, but the copper tape is pretty pliable. So, you know, I find that sometimes by going forward or going back, I can do a little bit of like a hospital corner and then get the tape to go in the direction that I want. So I've now reached the part of my card where my LED light bulb is going to be. So I'm going to go ahead and trim that off. And then I'm going to lay the negative part of the circuit. The negative circuit is going to be laid in much of the same way. The corners are tricky and it seems that kind of getting this tape to come back home again and jog back up through the house in such a way that the positive and the negative circuit lines aren't going to touch is a little bit trickier than um, what you start off with on the positive circuit side. Um, but just take your time and, um, you know, get the fold in as best you, best you can. Remember that this is not going to be visible to anyone. There is going to be a panel of cardstock over it so it does not have to be perfectly neat. Um, the other thing that you can do once you've got everything in place and your circuit is working, um, I find that going back over my copper tape with either um, like the edge of a pencil or even a folding tool really kind of helps um, smooth everything out um, and make sure that the tape is going to lay smoothly for you. So here I'm bringing the tape back to the battery house and I'm just kind of folding it um, to get it to um, end up on the other side of the cardstock fold. And then what's going to happen is that when that cardstock is folded shut with the battery in place, then the light up element will work. I've gone ahead and placed my Chibitronic light at the break in the circuit where the light is going to go. And then I've also placed my battery into the battery house. So a couple of notes here for completing your circuit. First of all, when you are putting your chibi circuit into place um, with the light element, you notice that they're kind of shaped like a triangle. So the flat end of the triangle is going to touch the positive end of your circuit. And then the pointy end of the triangle is going to touch the negative side of your circuit. The other thing that you need to watch for is that your battery is going to have two sides to it. There is a positive and a negative. So you want to make sure that the positive side of your coin battery is touching the positive circuit and then the negative side would be touching the negative. Often when I'm doing a little bit of troubleshooting with my light, if my light isn't working, it's generally because my battery is not facing the right way or that my chibi light element is not stuck down um, well enough and we're not getting a good connection. So now I need to build some foam tape housing around my battery and around the rest of the card. The reason that I'm putting this up on foam tape is that I want it to be interactive. I don't want the light to be on all the time, which is what would happen if I just kind of adhered it in such a way that that card stock house would... Um, would make a connection with the both sides of the battery at all times. So I am layering up some double-sided foam tape here and you see that I've got a little bit of foam tape kind of going around the cardstock battery house and I'm just trimming up 
the foam tape that's going around the edge of the card because I don't want it to show past um, my card front. The reason that two layers of the foam tape are needed here is because that is going to give me the right level of thickness as my coin battery cell and make it so that you would really actually have to press in on that spot on the card to get the copper tape to make a connection with the battery and have the light up element illuminate the card. So that is all working quite nicely. I'm continuing to test my circuit as I go along to make sure that I haven't done anything that's going to disrupt it. And now I'm going to start removing some of the backing. Now I'm not going to remove the backing that surrounds um, immediately that cardstock house. I'm using that mostly as a spacer. Um, and the reason that I'm not going to remove that is because I don't really want to adhere the cardstock housing shut. If I did that, then my light would be on at all times. The other thing that I thought I would show you here um, is that you can put the foam tape over your copper circuit um, if needed. Mine was running kind of close to the edge of the card where um, I would need to have a little bit of space. So um, I was able to just kind of place the foam tape directly on top of the circuit and it really did not interfere with the operation of the light. So um, the electricity will run even if you have foam tape on top of it. So I've just added another piece of foam tape um, to the one side of the coin house um, just to make sure that that's all secured. The other thing that I'm going to do is I have adhered the, um, the battery into the coin house itself with a little bit of score tape just to make sure that it's not going to shift around um, and get out of contact with both ends of the circuit. So now I am ready to put down my card front and I'm just kind of carefully positioning it in place trying to make sure that it's as even as I can get it on to the note card itself. So I'm doing that and I can see that when I'm pressing in on that heart area I am getting a connection and my candles are lighting up. So that's going to be it for me today. I really had a great time playing with these Chibi Light Kit and um, feeling like not only a paper engineer, but an electrical engineer as well. For more product information, visit waffleflower.com. Visit us on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook for even more creative ideas. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Have a great day.